Hi and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to run the error term to uh, correlation test using Stata. It's quite simple. We have for the purpose of uh, this uh, tutorial a database containing information in uh, on macroeconomic variables such as GDP, uh, cross fixed capital formation, general growth management. Uh, spending we have uh, GDP growth and as well as general government investment I will run a regression and show you how to use a, uh, a linear regression result in order to run the uh, non-auto correlation test in a residual term so if the first time you are watching one of my videos do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose my next uh, video. So uh, we'll start uh, first of all uh, with uh, estimation of our uh, linear regression. So we'll run a reg, command reg, uh, followed by uh, our dependent variable which will be here uh, a GDP in current local currency. And as independent variable, we have uh, cross fixed capital formation, general government investment, we'll have uh, general uh, government investment percentage of GDP, all those variables. So we then click on OK, and we have the result of our uh, linear regression. Uh, but the interpretation in this case is not our purpose, so we'll uh, try, first of all, to, uh, to predict our residual terms. So, uh, to uh, generate our residual term, just use the command predict and give a, a name to our residual. We will call them uh, residual. Terms and then comma and R to say to Stella that uh, the uh, variable that we are going to predict is uh, the residual, and as we have uh, just run a uh, linear equation, the residual that will be predict will be the residual of our linear model. We then click on OK, and you can see that a new variable has been generated. Called uh, residual terms, that is the residual terms of our uh, just run uh, uh, model on uh, the GDP and the impact of uh, some variable like gross capital formation, general government investment, and general government uh, final consumption on the GDP. So, uh, as we have predicted, our uh, uh, residual terms uh, we need to set uh, our time data because uh, the correlation have sense in time series data and as well we have time series data so we set our time series uh, variable by using the command uh, t set uh, followed by the name of our uh, time series variable which is here here then we click on OK and our time variable is set from year 1982 to uh, 2018, which is uh, the horizon of our, uh, of our data. So uh, the last step is to run a model uh, with our residual term. So we will regress uh, using our command reg. Our dependent variable in the regression will be. Uh, residual terms and uh, independent variable will be a uh, lack value of uh, residual terms so we we'll use l dot uh, residual term for lack one residual term uh, after that we will use lack two l dot uh, l two dot uh, residual and finally, we will include our third lab, our lab tree uh, residual in our model, and we will estimate the model. And in our model, the 
most important thing to uh, look at is the uh, probability of fissure. The probability of fissure gives the uh, global significance of our model, will give uh, the global significance of large uh, value of, uh, of our error term. So in autocorrelation, uh, in the test of autocorrelation N is to test uh, if whether or not a uh, large value of GCP significantly influence the current uh, value. So as we can see, our probability is uh, 0 0.000 that uh, lead to the uh, rejection of null hypothesis, uh, which is uh, that our uh, coefficient are, uh, are null. So uh, the uh, interpretation is that our uh, error term are uh, correlated and is not good for our uh, linear regression because in a uh, estimation of uh, linear regression by least square uh, uh, is one of the hypotheses is that the error term must be non autocorrelated and uh, the hypothesis is violated in our case in the future video we will show you how to uh, correct uh, uh, this autocorrelation using, for example, the generalized uh, least square or uh, variable transformation in order to correct a non autocorrelation term. So that's it for this uh, new video. And if you have not yet done, do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as activating the notification bell in order not to lose my next publication. As do not hesitate to uh, let me thumbs up. It will be a pleasure to know that all efforts we are making are increasingly uh, improved to our level in statistical model for social sciences. So uh, anytime soon for another video.